So I woke up early today because I have a ton of things to do um, but there's some const yeah can you hear that there's some construction going on next door and it's really really loud so I might just film a silent vlog for today and do some voice over on top if I can I just wanted to let you know that this will be more of a silent vlog and I'm probably not gonna pop on camera as often but yeah let's go to work I've been working on some designs for Valentine's Day because I think I'm gonna start outsourcing more stickers especially now that I have a Patreon. I just want to prepare ahead of time because I don't want to cut it too close to February in case there's any delays in deliveries and stuff like that. But um, this is my sketchbook page and these are just the ideas that I've been working on. <laughs> these are the hands and chopsticks that my boyfriend drew. So for the random objects, I was thinking of like strawberries and cherries, kind of still keeping my like mo cat kai cat theme i have these chocolate covered strawberries and i'm gonna try and make all the highlights on them into heart shapes just to like you know valentine's theme and everything and this doodle down here is inspired by something that i saw in a plant shop in new york so they were selling these like ceramic hearts that you can pin into your plants and they say things like stay hydrated or take care of me and stuff like that and i think that's really cute so I drew that and for the cats I don't have a lot of ideas yet but one of them is this one the cat holding the heart candy I'm not sure what this is called but you usually see them around Valentine's Day and they say things like you're mine or be mine I thought it would be cute to do one that says love yourself and have a cat holding it but yeah I have be mine here too <laughs> anyways up here I have my cupid babies that I don't know what to do with yet. I don't even know if cupids have halos. I think they do in some depictions, but this is just kind of a sketch. The body is still like crooked, but I'll work on that. I'm not sure if I'm going to make these two into stickers or if I'm going to put them together in an art print and add a bunch of like these heart-shaped plants around them. I'm still thinking about it, but this is just like the basic idea for now. I like the idea of having like the heart-shaped shikis. I think that's so cute. I struggled a little with the bow. Like I'm not really sure what the bow looks like and if you can see my sketch, I just kind of drew like a curved line and that didn't look too good. So I added the little curvies at the end. But yeah, this is my idea page for February and I'll keep you updated on what stickers I actually end up making.
เมนูวันนี้คือยำมาม่า by my boyfriend <laughs> These five stickers are going to be my Patreon rewards for January. So for the first tier, we have Curious Cat, which is basically like a tip jar slash sneak peek into um, my life updates, work in progress, and sketchbook pages. And for this tier, you will also be able to vote on new merch and new Instagram slash YouTube content. So this is the first tier. The second tier is called Cat Box, and this is basically like the digital goodies tier. So you will get all the benefits of the previous tier. Plus monthly digital downloads like wallpaper, lock screen, or calendars, printables, things like that. And for this tier, you will also have access to a monthly blog post about mental health, where I basically share with you some things that I've learned about mental health and some things that I find very helpful for me personally. So this is the second tier. The third and last tier is called Cat Friends USA. It's USA only because I'm still working on getting my um, packages shipped internationally. But once I figure that out, I'm going to open a Cat Friends International tier, which is going to be the fourth tier. But so for this one, you're going to get all the benefits of the first and second tiers, including a 15% discount from my shop each month. And in this tier, you will also get a monthly cat mail from me. So it's kind of like a cat mail club where you get two stick. And one art print sent to your house every month. Um, all the packages will be shipped with first class shipping with tracking, so you can track your packages and make sure that they get to you safely. For this month, instead of sending two stickers and an art print, I decided to send five stickers because it's my very first month of Patreon and I created these three designs for the three different tiers, and I just thought it would be cute to make them into stickers and send them to you. And I'm also including the Smokecat and KaiCat macarons because I think they represent me and my shop so yeah if you are interested in these stickers please consider pledging to my patreon the good thing about patreon is you can cancel anytime so you don't have to feel pressured about pledging every month and even if you support me for just one month i will already be so grateful for you so yeah let's pack these orders
A lot of people have been asking me how I know which order is which because you guys only see me packing from the back side of the envelope. The truth is I have everything addressed on the front side. I just keep it hidden from the camera because I don't want to show anyone's personal information or address. So I always address my envelopes first. That's the first step. And then after that, I have them face down when I film and I just go order by order and make sure I check the name without showing you guys. So a while ago, I hosted a worldwide giveaway and I announced the winner on the first week of January. One of the winners is named Erica and she's from Italy. So I put together a bunch of stickers from my shop, three art prints and also an original piece that I drew for her. So I took a peek at Erica's Instagram and I noticed that one, she's a Slytherin and two, she has red hair. And I just thought like the red and green combo would look really cool on paper. So I decided to draw a little portrait for her. I used markers to color in the witch hat and the hair for more smoother look. And for the scarf, I used this color pencil just to add a little bit more texture. I'm gonna pack all of this together and mail it out to Italy. I want to take a moment to talk about our sponsor for today. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and if you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes in levels ranging from beginner to intermediate to advanced. There are so many classes to choose from and some of my personal favorite categories include illustration, fine art, video editing, and also tips on health and wellness. Lately, I have been learning to develop my illustration style by watching odd bodies illustrating expressive stylized people by 
Tom Froese. He talks a lot about how style comes from the abstraction of reality and how style can be used to add more emotion into your art. I'm becoming more interested in conveying movement and feeling through my art because I think that it appears a little bit stiff sometimes. So this is from one of the exercises called People in Shapes and the basic concept is to draw a bunch of weird looking shapes and try to fit people into them without focusing too much on making realistic bodies and without thinking ahead where the different limbs are gonna be. Skillshare's creative community has really encouraged me to keep improving, especially in traditional art which I often feel self-conscious about. And by watching other creators and listening to their stories and their journey through art, I was also inspired to grow as an artist as well. Today, you can join Skillshare at less than $10 a month for an annual subscription, and the first 1,000 people to click on the link in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium today. So thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video.